In this tutorial, I'm going to cover how to download and install the Live Drive Desktop Client. The Live Drive Desktop Client is a program that's going to allow you to back up your files to the web. So the first thing that you need to do is create an InfraDrive account. Um, so you need to open up a web browser. In this example, I'm going to be using Internet Explorer. And you need to go to InfraDrive.com. The URL is right here. Once you get there, you're going to see the subdomain is just essentially a URL that's going to allow you to access your login web portal. Um, so you're going to want to make it something familiar to you, like your last name or your first and last name. In this example, I'm going to be using tutorial. Um, so once I fill this out and I hit sign up, it's going to say something like your account has been successfully created. It is just essentially a URL that's going to allow you to access your login web portal. Um, so you're going to want to make it something familiar to you, like your last name or your first and last name. In this example, I'm going to be using tutorial. Um, so once I fill this out and I hit sign up, it's going to say something like your account has been successfully created. It's also going to allow you to redirect from our page directly to the web portal login page. Um, however, I'm just going to type it up here. Tutorial.infodrive.com That's going to take me right to the web portal login page. Once you're here, in the upper right hand corner, you enter your login in information. So, tutorial at infodrive.com. That was the email address that I chose to enter as the username, and then your password. Click login. Okay. So, if this happens, don't worry. Just re enter your information. You probably just mistype my password. Hit login again. Okay. So once you successfully log in, this is the page that you're going to see. You're going to need to look in the lower left hand corner and you're going to see this button right here. It says software download and has a little arrow icon on it. Click on that. It's going to take you to this page. On this page, you're going to see this big blue button that has download on it. Click that and click run. Click run again. So this process can take some time downloading files and installing. Right now, it's installing Live Drive Desktop Client onto my computer. Okay, so it's going to tell you that you need to restart your computer um, before the changes will take effect. Um, you can go ahead and do that. Um, in this tutorial, I'm just going to click no because I'm going to restart later. So now you have successfully installed the Live Drive client, so you just need to go through the setup. So on your screen somewhere, you're going to see this little icon right here. You just need to click on that, and it says Live Drive is not currently set up. Would you like to set up now? Click yes. Okay, so now you just need to re enter login information so it can validate your account. Click sign in. Okay, click next. Okay, at this point in the setup, you get to choose, manually choose which files you want your um, desktop client to back up. So you can select all of these that you want and deselect all of them that you want. Um, I'm just going to have it back up my, my documents. So click on that. If there's a file 
that you want to have back up, backed up or a folder that you want to have backed up somewhere that you don't see on the list, just click Add Folder. And you can navigate through your hard drive and select any folder that you want to select uh, that you want to be backed up or any file that you want to be backed up and you select it then you click OK didn't do that once you have selected all the folders that you want to be backed up click next Okay, so this is just telling you that at, at any point after you have set up your live drive desktop client you can reconfigure which files you want it to back up so we'll just click next. This could take some time. Okay. So now you have successfully installed your old your live drive desktop client. You just need to wait for it to perform the integrity check. Um, it the time that it takes varies depending on how much information that you're backing up. Okay, so after the integrity check, you just close this box, and down here, you should see, you will probably see a little icon. So, to access your Live Drive desktop client, you click on this little arrow, and you should see the Live Drive icon right here. Click on that, and it'll open this. So, from here, you can manage your backups, or go to the web portal, change your settings, or check the status of your downloads. So at any point during the life of your subscription, you want to change the fi files that are being backed up. You just click Manage Backups right here, and it's going to show you your file directory on your computer. So I'm opening my C drive, and I can just click any of these files that I want to be backed up. I can select or deselect them. I'm not going to do that, but feel free to if you wish. Um, click OK. I didn't make any changes, so I'm just going to click Cancel. So that's how you change the files that you're backing up. Um, if you click this, it's going to take you to your web portal so that you can log in and view all the files that you have backed up. Um, if you click this status, um, right here, these are all the items that it is queued up for Live Drive to back up to my to the tutorial online web service. So. These are all waiting to be uploaded. These are the ones that have been uploaded. So if you go to status, um, once it finishes going through this queue, it's actually going to start uploading each file individually to to the um, web service, and you're going to be able to see the status of each file and the progress that it's made towards being completely uploaded. Um, so at any time. You can pause the upload by clicking this buttons button or resume the uploads by clicking resume. And then you can close this little window by clicking close. So that's it um, for this tutorial. You've successfully installed and set up your LiveDrive desktop client.